What's up, everybody? Today is Wednesday, March 15th, and it is a very special edition of This Week in MLS as it is the start of Major League Soccer's campaign, Don't Cross the Line. And the whole goal of this campaign is to promote the league's stance against discrimination and create an environment of diversity, inclusion, and equality in the soccer community. And Kaylin, as a former player, I know that you can speak to that and how important it is. Yeah, this isn't just a slogan to me, and I think to the players across the league. This is something that we all need to rally around, whether it's our fans, our front offices, the league office, our clubs. Uh, and it means a lot as a player because, you know, the fans, you want to feel that support, that energy on the field. That's what's so special about MLS. But we want to do it in a way that doesn't cross the line and say things that are offensive. You want that to be positive. Mm -hmm. And that really does affect how you feel on, on the field. If you, if you hear a comment that's sort of unbecoming or it doesn't represent what you feel like it should, mm -hmm. which is this diverse group of players on the field, you want you want that to be reflected in the, in the fans and, and by the players as well. So everybody holds a bit of responsibility to, to make this uh, a positive place for everybody. And I think that's what's so powerful about this. No, absolutely, Kaylin. I was down in Atlanta last week and really experienced that firsthand. You know, they have all the different supporters groups there, but all of them spoke about how, how much diversity plays a huge part in what they're trying to create and the fan culture that they're trying to create down there. You saw people from different walks of life, different races, all ages, coming together to support their team in a way where everybody felt welcome. And to, to witness that firsthand, to, to be a part of it, was something really cool. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, look at our league. We've got Robbie Rogers, Kai Kamara, uh, we've got David Villa, we've got just guys from all over the world, different backgrounds, races, ethnicities, sexualities, mm -hmm. uh, everything. And our fans are even more diverse, you know, as far as gender, all these other things that come into it. So that's something to be celebrated. And, you know, might say don't cross the line, but it's also a time to celebrate what we are doing right. And, uh, and I think that's a really powerful thing to combine together. Do you know how to take the pledge? I, I, do you hit this button? No, okay. no, no, Sorry. no. You don't hit the button. I'm taking Simon, the Simon Borg can't, can't help us with this one, okay. guys. Um, but you can go to MLSsoccer.com backslash don't cross the line. You can take the pledge there. You can also take the pledge on all of MLS's social media sites, Twitter, Instagram. And then when you do that, your profile picture will be part of a larger mosaic of every other person that has taken the pledge. You know what my profile picture is? I've seen it. It's the very cool. The rainbow in seats Orlando, in Orlando. Which is for this, it's so. gonna, it's I'm, gonna look I'm right. I'm taking the pledge, guys. So remember, MLSsoccer.com backslash don't cross the line. Take the pledge.